So, found a really nice can. It's saying to me, make a can joe out of me. So I thought I would share how I do that. There's a couple things that I do. Oh, future resonator. There's a couple things that I do that are a little different than uh, what other people do. First of all, a can. Very straightforward. Oh, this is all you need. When I say under 10 bucks, I'm quite serious. This was like uh, two bucks on uh, Amazon. And this was two bucks on Amazon. This was less than two bucks on Amazon. Uh, everything else I scrounged, you know, even if you had to pay for a guitar string, it's like 80 cents. So it's actually, you know, unless you're buying tools or something, it's pretty tough to spend $10. And of course, I can was gifted to me. Um, so what I'm going to do here is, uh, I think I like this side, even though there's a seam here, I kind of like the way that looks. So I'm going to put a little mark here. I'm going to drill a hole at an angle there. And I'm going to do the same thing, approximately, there. And about an inch up here. And I'm just going to make a mark. And I'm going to use, so that's a sixteenth of an inch drill bit. That's for the string hole. That's usually all you need. Um, I've seen people use rivets, rivet ends and stuff like that. And yeah, totally welcome to do that. But I've got some of those too. But it's not actually necessary. So if you don't have one, just carry on. And that'll be fine. But it's got to be a quite a small hole where you'll have some problems. And now I just have to decide where, they're, where I want the jack. So I'd kind of like the jack. I think it'd be kind of out of the way right around here. All right. So for the jack, right there, I'll be using uh, this six millimeter drill and then I'll be wiggling it around just a little bit so that the jack fits. The other thing I'm going to do is this is called a piezo buzzer. As I mentioned, very inexpensive. It's a little fragile. You don't want these to come off. I'm going to extend the wires on it. And I'm going to be soldering that to the jack. And uh, the red is positive, which on this jack is the middle one. And the ground is, is there. And I kind of want it a little longer so that my glue gun, hot glue gun, I'll be able to reach in and glue it off to one side. Why off to one side? Well, you never know. Might want to add a magnetic pickup right in there. So, that's why I like to put it a little off to one side. So, I'll show you that when I do it. Now, oh, and this um, this is just a layout. Uh, it's a template that I did the other day um, for a 24-inch scale neck. I used a Jaguar. I did a little video of it uh, just so I can have frets on it. So, I'll be making fret marks as well. I'll show you about that in just a second. So the reason I'm starting, this is uh, also less than two bucks at the local hardware store, Home Depot. And uh, the reason I'm starting at that end is because I don't know if you can tell on camera, this end is starting to bend a little bit. So even though it's square, I'd, I'd really rather have a straight canjo. So I'm going to lay it out first and just show you how to do that. And I tend to lay it out all at once. So I'm just going to pick a spot to start. That looks pretty good. So I'll be cutting that end off. And I just want to know where I am here, so I'll put a mark on the side. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pointy end of this, and I'll be making a hole for the strap. I'll just put a piece of rope to there, tie a knot in it, or whatever I have lying around. Don't want to go too close to what's going to be the edge so it splits. So just pick it around there. Right. And then with the tuner, I'm looking at the tuner here. Now I'm going to put the tuner on so it sits like this. And you may be asking yourself, now, why would you do that? And there's the center of the tuner right there. So this is where I'll be using the 5 eighths drill bit to make a hole right there. Right, which will leave this exposed and the string will go down into it. And so why would I do that there? It's because this way I can play it like a guitar. 
like that, and it sort of sticks out. But I can also play it, or anybody else, like a lap steel, like that, and uh, be able to lie flat with no issues. Okay, so that's where that's going to go, and that circle's going to be right around there. And then, I want to make the nut fairly close to that. I want the string to kind of go down into it. This is my nut. It's a piece of one of my cars that I couldn't remember where it went, so now it's a nut. It's going to go right there. And what's important about this is when you do put the nut on, you're going to want to, if you have a rat tail file, that's great, you can file a hole. If not, I'm going to show you in a second another way of doing it. That's going to go right in the middle, like that. So your string is actually in the middle of this. So when you line up your frets, it's really important because I've had so many guys come into my guitars a lot of tune to line it up like that and draw your fret lines first, which I'm also going to do. All right. And when you've done that, you can just take an X-Acto knife and you can cut, or your saw, make a little cut. It doesn't have to be that deep. And then just go on either side and cut a little, little V, just enough so that it'll stay in there with the hot glue gun. I'll show you that too after I'm done. So we can tell by this template that we're going to go down here. That's going to be where the can ends. So here's the can. It's going to end around there somewhere. Good to know. Let's make a couple marks to know where I'm working. So I'm going to add a few inches onto that. And then I'm going to go over here. And this will be the last hole that I drill. Be right there. Okay. So, you guys don't need to watch me do all this. I'll show you after I've done it a bit. Back in a minute. Okay, well I'm back. It took me about, uh, I guess, 20 minutes. Uh, it's pretty easy. This is the uh, strap uh, for playing it guitar-wise, which is more how I would play it, I guess. I wanted to show you a couple things that I think are kind of important. Now with the tuner, let's see if we can get it on the camera there. If you wind it down towards the base of the tuner, it ends up in the center um, without having to do a retaining screw or anything to, to guide it. And with a high nut like this, it tends to hang on to it, so you don't really have to worry about it anyway. The reason the tuner is going this way is as the string pulls down on the tuner, it tightens the nut into the uh, worm there. If you go the other way, uh, it can kind of slip or strip really easy, especially if it's an inexpensive tuner, like I recommended. This piece of wood I'm using, in case I didn't mention it before, is called 1x2 which means it's really an inch and a half by three quarters of an inch, but it works out perfect for doing side tuner stuff. Okay, um, once again, the strap there. Let's see what else I got to talk about. There's the string. Um, when you use the hot glue gun, okay, I'll see if I can get this on camera. Ooh, what a mess. Hmm, Mr. Incompetent. Um, actually, I use a lot of glue on the piezo. If you haven't worked with piezos before, they're very bright, so extra glue actually helps calm them down so they aren't quite so sensitive. They sound a little bit better. Um, with the nut, however, I don't use very much glue at all. Also, when uh, have a little piece of wood or a pencil so that you don't press that down with your finger. Because if you press that into the hot glue with your finger, like I do often, it hurts. So you don't want to do that. So I think that's all you really need to know about that. So I'm just going to give you a quick illustration. Also, once again, uh, this being a beginner project, I'm assuming that maybe you don't know that much about piezo pickups. They can be very bright. So I've turned my uh, little cube, Roman cube here on the side. And I always start with a new project. I always start with everything off, except for the master. I've got that about there. And I've got it just on the regular clean. So, oh, that's what it sounds like acoustically. Hopefully that comes through. Um, so I'm going to give it some volume and some gain. That's pretty good. So 
so I don't give it too much tone until after I've played it a bit. And the other thing is you might want to add some reverb. And the other thing that's interesting too about Kanjo is you can do this. Get vibrato that way as well. So anyway, that's the basics. I hope you have fun with this project. If I left anything out, just leave me a comment and give me heck. Have a great day. Bye.